Okay, we're recording. It says I have to give you my consent. This is new. Ooh, nice. Are you okay? Do you consent? I, I've given my consent. That's are we actually recording now? Uh, yeah. I yes. mean, as far as I know, we're recording. Welcome to the WP Campus Podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the WP Canvas Podcast, the podcast for those who use WordPress in higher education. We are That's, experts in our field that is yes. not podcasting. No, podcasting, we are not experts at all. Um, uh, this is the WP Canvas Podcast. I think that's the third time I've said that. Um, and w this is our first episode after WP Canvas 2019, and we're all still a little sleepy. Yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason for it. It's been like a week and a half, but I can't <laughs> deny it. The fog is beginning to clear. That's right. Hey, that's Marianne, everybody. Marianne is our guest this week. Welcome, Marianne Reisig. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Some of you who are avid listeners and have excellent memories might remember that I referenced Marianne once before and incorrectly referenced her institution of higher education where she works. So to correct this issue, we're going to ask Marianne our guest questions. Marianne, are you ready? I'm ready, yes. Cool. All right, where do you work? I work at St. John Fisher College in Rochester, New York. Yeah, I think I said you worked at like Rochester College or something. So oh, okay, yeah. There, at least I was... Uh -huh. I was in the ball. I made it up. It sounded <laughs> nice try. Thanks. What is your official job title? My official job title is um, Senior Programmer Analyst for Web Technologies. Ooh, that sounds good. That has a lot of big words in it. Yes. What do you actually do? What do I actually do? Um, I actually do some of that. <laughs> I do I do some web web um, programming web technologies, what but I also, I, right I also run um, I'm also admin of a bunch of other things like our SSO system and some other um, you know borderline are they really web applications Yeah, Con congratulations on, on your responsibilities. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, what did you get your degree in? I got my degree in um, Italian. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Ooh, yeah, and um, I actually had a, I had a double major in computer applications, but my first major was Italian. Okay, I, I need to hear some Italian. No, I, I it's really long time ago, so my Italian's super rusty. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm so disappointed. Okay, so my husband's favorite phrase in Italian, and it's terrible, is la porta e fatta de supa. And it means the door is made of soup. And it means, and, and it cracks everybody up when he says that. I don't know where he learned it, but he says that all the time. And, you know, it's hilarious. So, well, the door is made of soup is right, right. a funny statement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and what school did you go to to get this wonderful degree? Uh, I went to the University of Notre Dame. Oh, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, Notre Dame is the Fighting Irish. It is, yes. Excellent. So um, we have, for our friends at home, revised our final question. Some of you might recall that in the past we have asked who would win in a fight, um, your college mascot or Edu Wapu. And um, in an effort to tone down the violence on our program, <laughs> we are going to swap that for who is cuter, your college okay. mascot or Edu Wapu. Well, I'm pretty sure Edu Wapu is going to win in this one because, you know, he's like that little uh, leprechaun guy. Well, he's kind of cute. Like, he is kind of cute, but he's, he's more like, he's always in the stance, you know, so he's more fierce. So I'm going with the Wapu this yeah. time. He's a, he, yeah, he's always ready to fight. Yeah, yeah. He, he has, has like like very, know? very pointy right. wrists, like the, the it seems hand, like. Right. He's like. It's probably good that we've abandoned the fight question because I feel like the fighting <laughs> Irish one is kind of like built in answer. It's not even fun anymore. Right, right. right. Yeah. Okay. So as your Wapu, definitely cuter. That's one for Wapu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we should probably talk about the conference now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to ask both of you, Brian, I'll start with you. Um, I want to know what your favorite session or sessions were, but I'm going to start by asking, what was your favorite thing about the conference? I mean, I think it's always wonderful to see all those wonderful people at WP campus and the... Um, it's just because we're sitting know. right here. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but like... Even separate from the conference, from the from the actual sessions in the conference, um, just talking to people who 
do what you do and you don't have to sort of explain what it is that you do to them. Um, and then, I mean, that, that saves like 15 minutes out of the conversation right there. And then you can get into the real meat of like, how do you solve this problem? What do you do for that? Things like that. Uh, this year at WP Campus was also a particular treat for me and also for Jen um, because there were seven people from NC State in Portland, Oregon. I don't know why we all decided to fly across the country, but um, that's the most people we've had from NC State at a WP Campus. And some of the people- Or from, any conference. I mean, yeah, yeah, except honestly. for maybe like- No, it's really awesome. Yeah. And, and it was an opportunity, since we're a big school, it was an opportunity to talk to people that we just don't really interact with very often. And um, it's possible we might have a couple of collaborative projects come out of this, yes. um, which is, it's, it's strange and funny that it takes a conference on the other side of the country to yeah. get us talking to each other, but it's great that it happened. 2,900 miles for a retreat is a little excessive. <laughs> And those NC State people, like I know you guys, but those guys, they were they were great. I, I really enjoyed hanging out with them. Well, see, we're really cool. People should come down here more. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you want to be a web application developer, the people down the hall from our group are hiring right now. So. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how well your job title reconfigures into web application programmer, but I think- Or if you want to relocate to Raleigh, North Carolina. It had some of the same words, so. Some of the same words, right? right. Oh, I think it's the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Brian, quit, quit pulling punches. What were, what were your favorite sessions? Uh, I probably shouldn't say my session, right? My lightning talk. That's that's pretty narcissistic, isn't it? it? Yeah, it's 100% uh, narcissistic. That is the definition of narcissistic. I enjoyed giving it. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, okay. What was my favorite was actual, actual session? Um, there were a few sessions that I only sort of listened to through the wall from the registration desk since I was sitting at the registration desk, but um, one of those was, uh, let's see, I'm looking at the schedule right now, um, the uh, automating your QA with visual regression, regression testing. I was um, in the room for that, so I heard more than you did, and yeah, I took a lot of notes for that. Um, that was just a very useful session for us. Um, that's something we've been talking about wanting to do testing um, you know one of those things that seems important um i, I also mentioned that our last podcast was actually with um uh steve Persh from pantheon talking about regression testing so if that's of interest to you you should go back and listen to our last podcast mm -hmm. if you haven't already i also similar deal listening through the wall uh gabe's mapping with accessibility in mind um which uh he won the uh, the best speaker speaker for this year. So great, great talk all around. And then, um, I don't know, just a lot of really good content in other sessions that I'm not thinking to mention. Marianne, I didn't go to your talk, but I'm sure it was great. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's yours, Marianne, is one of many that I want to go back and watch the videos for. Marianne spoke about Gravity Forms. Do you want to plug your session a little bit for people who want to watch yeah, it? Yeah, sure. I talked about um, automating uh, data, you know, getting data out of your Gravity Forms and um, how you can automate it and how you can get the proper um, data format that you need by using the API. And um, so I just talked about my case study and what I've what I've learned. But what was really cool about it is that after the session on Twitter, the main developer for Gravity Forms actually gave us a whole bunch of um, information on some of the questions that we had during the session. So I was like, that was worth it. Just they're getting that information from from them directly, which is really cool. So there's some really fun stuff I can dive into now. And other folks too. And the, there were some really good questions and the conversation at the end of it was really good. That's great. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So um, you fly across the country to meet up with people from your own campus and you fly across the country to interact on Twitter with people. <laughs> I know, right? It's so funny. Pays off. Mm -hmm. um, so what other sessions did you enjoy and or what were your favorite, what was your favorite thing about the conference? Um, another one that I enjoyed was um, Robin's discussion on the the UX so let, me, so let me find it here it's called how do I wrangle this UX thing um, you guys should go check that out if you weren't in the room um, when that comes out on video that was it was really good her message was really good um, I, I, I enjoyed it very much 
I was in on Robin and um, Rian and uh, Brian talking about accessibility and that was a really good conversation too. I mean, that was kind of a bummer because I, I feel like the three of you could have talked for hours um, and it would have been interesting. Um, and so I was sad that I missed Robin's other presentation, but I also enjoyed, uh, oh geez, um, uh, the other lightning talk that was uh, content related whose name oh, Donna. Is Donna thank you I knew it started with the oh, yeah. yeah Donna's actually all three of the lightning talks all four including the one with free geek were fantastic the lightning talks were a lot of fun and that venue was great uh Paul's always great to watch um he he's uh super energetic I think I don't know how many slides he actually had in there but it was like <laughs> uh, an impressive number um and for those of you who didn't make it to the conference or weren't aware we um we boycotted uh, or forego, forgave, forgiven. We gave up some of our uh, swag for this year in order. Boycotted to... sounds a little more serious. Uh, it's not. That's we not... No. <laughs> How about repurpose? We repurposed uh, yeah. some of our money to um, to raise money for Free Geek, and they came out and spoke to us about their uh, digital inclusion initiatives. And so, um, if you didn't uh, find out about that, I encourage you to look at the website, or I think you can possibly still donate. Um, even if you can't donate through the conference page, you can just donate to Free Geek in general. Um, they're a great organization and you can find out more on our website at, uh, on the website at wpcampus.org slash donate, I believe was the. Um, is it? Yeah, they, they're, and they're doing really fantastic work on the ground in Portland. Yeah, it's really great. I wish that we'd had more time to go in and uh, tour their venue and, and help out because you can also donate your time. So if you are local to Portland or that area, I, I encourage you to check it out. It was a, a great organization. Mm -hmm. um, and for the record, we're definitely going to be doing that again next year when we host our conference. We'll be looking for a new organization to support mm -hmm. in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> Is that how we announce these things? Yes, right. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, I, I do have, I think everybody has concerns about New Orleans in the summertime, in the middle of July. Yeah. But um, just as a group in the, in the organizing committee for 2019, um, I've been really pushing, and I think people are receptive, uh, to have in, like, the registration package when you get your lanyard also, like, a stick of deodorant, and maybe like a fan or something like that, just so that we can all enjoy so the conference. the USB fans that you plug into your phone? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> just because attach them to our computers and sit there. I mean, I assume there's air conditioning. I have been promised air conditioning if we stay in the dorms, okay? I've been to New Orleans in June before and everywhere was air conditioned. I don't think there'll be a problem. Okay. Well, there's lots of cool stuff to do there. Um, so I'm really enthusiastic about that. We'll uh, be hosted hopefully by Tulane is what it, it, it looks like. It's not completely 100% confirmed, but that looks like it'll be our host venue. So that's amazing. I've never been to Tulane. It'll be awesome. I've never been to New Orleans. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I got oh. no idea. I mean, I'm not yeah. sure that July is the right time to start going, but you know, I still think it's a cool experience. I don't think you can go to New Orleans and not have a good time. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay. Yeah. You better go and help me have a good time now. Okay. <laughs> um, Marianne, how many, how many WP campuses have you been to? I've been to all of them. Have you been to all of them? All of them, yeah. That's Brian, awesome. have you been to all of them? I have also been to all of them. Okay, I yeah, I'm a slacker. Like... <laughs> Which one did you not go to? Oh, I didn't go to the first two. Oh. I didn't go to Sarasota or to Buffalo. Um, oh, okay. And I really wanted to get to Buffalo. Uh, I don't remember what happened that year. Um, but... Uh, I think I remember what happened that year, Chen. <laughs> Shoot, man. <laughs> Who even knows? Um, but I, uh, I, I think that that year it's possible that you were on maternity leave. Oh yeah, is that the year where I'd had a baby like four seconds before that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah that <laughs> was like that year. That it was seems that. Like something you should remember. Is all <laughs> it seems like something I should remember. It's um, my child, the right, right, the arrival of my child. Uh, but forget that. Um, seriously. Um, the the locations have have been um really interesting and it's 
it's kind of nice. I'm glad that we made it all the way to the West Coast, but I am excited to sort of be coming back uh, central. And the conference is always so great. Um, I, I hope this means that we'll be able to get some more folks out. Um, I would love for all of my team to be there. Like we need more NC State people there, but it would be nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I, I think just, just getting, just having that community come together like that, is so beneficial because like like brian said you can just sit down at a table and everybody like instantly understands when you say something about your job and they're like oh yeah and everybody has a story everybody has a good um can you believe that story yeah uh-huh <laughs> so I think- jazzed and excited mm-hmm. and then you come back to the office and you're all like i need to do all the things yeah yes yep I think it's also now that we have started having on-campus housing with uh, with WP campus um, life in the dorms. So the residence hall at Lewis and Clark was fine. Um, dorm life is not glamorous, but it was a, a lovely building. Mm-hmm. But I think it was it was this weird sort of college experience throwback where you know it's it's eight or nine at night and you run into somebody and you're like, oh hey, let's talk about this that wouldn't happen if we were all in hotels and doing things separately and getting dinner separately. Yeah. Now, I, is that enough to make up for sharing showers? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed that in the conference too, is the, just being around people and having that sort of immersive experience and then not thinking about work for three days after the conference because I was just done with it. Right, except for, yeah, that's the haze, right? The haze that you bring back with you where you're like, mm-hmm. um, I'm, I have my conference hangover, mm-hmm. right? But then I'm also fighting it because I want to do 8 million things. Um, and then I immediately realize that um, like 7 million of them aren't remotely possible. <laughs> and that like contributes to the haze and then it turns into a depression and that's where we are now. Is that where we are now? We'll come out of it soon, I think. Yeah. We'll come out of the fog, like so. so. You'll find the one million yeah, yeah. that you can implement, and then you'll get all excited about it. Right, get- right. And I feel like the um, I came back and I was like, okay, I have to find my place again where I where I left off, and that you know the interruption of work is is really was like on top of the 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 conference hangover. It was really like okay where do I start? So I had to like, I went back and I had to make another to-do list, you know, like, so I can get back into where I was. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And we have our team meeting tomorrow, which will no doubt include like all of the things. I know Brian has at least a couple of post-it notes worth of like, Hey, we should be doing this. So <laughs> I mean, that I still have stuff left over from WP campus 2016. So oh, right, right. <laughs> 2016. Dang, Brian. <sighs> All right, well, um, so again, uh, 2020 will be in New Orleans, Louisiana, and we hope that folks will be able to join us. Um, Brian and I will be returning to our more regularly scheduled topics in two weeks, um, although that's also our first week back to classes, so we'll see how quickly we get the podcast Mm -hmm. out in between, um, you know, people requesting a website five seconds before the first day of school. But uh, otherwise, I I think that's it for now. Don't forget to uh, always check out the website, wpcampus.org, for uh, the latest news and updates. And we should have videos coming from the conference soon. Yeah. What did I forget? Um, If you want to get on the Slack, on the WP Campus Slack, if you want to volunteer for um, New Orleans, get on there. Yeah. Yeah. You're not too early. Get involved. Fill out the form on the Get Involved page. We'd love to have your help. Yes. Thanks, everybody, for listening. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.